Hi, this is Meg Scott. You're watching the Meg Scott Art Gallery Show, hosted by American Hearts Radio, or put on by American Hearts Radio. And uh, today we're having faux feathers. Actually, I call them bohemian feathers. Y'all can call them whatever you want, but uh, we're going to have a section that shows you how to do that, a segment, and then we're going to be right back. But first, I wanted to say thank you very much to Johnny Van Zandt. That means the world to me. You just don't know. And uh, let's say <laughs> that's just really great of you. Uh, I, I can't believe it. And uh, I owe you. <laughs> and if you please just keep one of them, <laughs> I'd feel better. <laughs> Hi, this is the Meg Scott Art Gallery Show, and I am making faux flowers today. Uh, um, and you're watching American Hearts Radio, and this is Meg Scott. So, here we go. What we've got to do is put paper down. This is tissue paper. And I think I'm doing the wrong side. Hang on. No, I'm not. Okay. get a bunch of glue on there and I do mean a bunch because it's not how much it is but it's whether or not it's coated that keeps all the little pieces going I don't know how to explain that but anyway so you take your little 26 gauge wire you put it on there What we're making is flowers, so it's got a natural bow to it, but you want it to, you don't want it to do that, where it turns over. You want it to have the bow that it naturally has. Okay, now I gotta get the other side. This is convenient, like this. You can do it with um, uh, anything. You can do it with paper, magazine. This is tissue. Or to, uh, Tim Holtz paper tissue. So, and that doesn't have to be as exact as this one, so we'll just go ahead and try it. Now you put that over that, fold it down nice and neat, put your hands all over it because it's got to be, it's got to fit, it can't have no bubbles. It's got to be attached to your stems because those are your feathers. Oh, here's one that's going to the side a lot. Oh, that one's not going to worry about that. But that one's far enough away. Okay. And then you move it aside. And, and my feathers that I've made so far are right here. And you have to excuse me because I'm new at this and I haven't got them embellished yet. But when I embellish them, we'll make another, another thing for them. See, here's the feather. You can put beads on it down here. You can put glitter on it. You can put um, ink on it, anything, paint, anything you want. And that one looks cuter on that side. It's a brown one, so it's you know, more natural. And then there's this one. And there's uh, dictionary paper on the side. 
So that's how you do that. Hi. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. What you do is you take the feathers and you cut them in feather form a lot. It feels like you're going to cut them all off, but you don't. You just keep cutting. Anyways, I forgot to say that and I forgot to do that. But anyway, um, okay, now we have, uh, oh, paper mache. My assistant and I got together and we decided that paper mache is really in right now. So we decided to do this little clip for you. Paper mache. Uh, show so. you how we start, and I am to do that. Yes. So here I have two blank CDs, the bottom taped together and stuffed full of something to make a base. And then I have um, scotch tape and packing tape that I used to make the legs of my elephant. You can talked use last scotch tape. Yeah, we talked last week on how we were going to do the um, paper mache. So this week we figured we better, we better do, do it. it. <laughs> so um, we got styrofoam balls. We're going to make the base of the body like that. I went ahead and took the liberty of cutting out a bottle bottom. I'm going to place right here and I'm going to tape on to his torso, which we'll see it when you get right here. This That's is... Without a tail yet, I don't want to tell who he is. <laughs> My this bad. is Winnie the Pooh, if that gives you any hints. This is Alice in Wonder, and I have a patent on it. Alice in Wonderland, White Bunny. We're going to paper him shame and put his little red. I'll be working on his trousers. And uh, so that's that. And we've got a girl that we're going to make with feathered flowers for her hair. Not feathered, not flowers, feathers. Faux feathers, that's what it is. Okay. And Here we go, we're starting. Meg's okay. going to help me mix the glue. Yeah. Got to put the water in it first. Okay. Well, I'm going to take the We're going to try and not get as messy, messy as, as possible. Get, yeah, we're going to get messy, you know that, but not much we can do about it. use Elmer's glue. This is just regular Elmer's glue and it'll work if you're medium. Pour it in there, all of it. Do you have any rings on it that you might want to take off? Yes. At this point you check your rings because you don't want to get this in your rings. Try to show 
show you how to do this uh, wire, wire pants. I've got a lot of wire. I'm going to pull it up. And I'm just attaching the So, I'm just going to tear it like this, and then I'm going to tear... doing this, I'm going to show off some of my feathers, that's not a good one, oh never mind, okay, it's got a few lumps in it, but it's okay, now you want to pull that off, let it soak, let it off some more, it needs more flour, so I'll do that in a second, careful when you're flapping, I know, I have to be careful too, I have to lay that right there, I'm going to lay that right there, and get his head, get his head should come first. So, get the excess water off your finger. Be careful not to ruin your collar because if you make a collar for it and you're doing this, your collar can be damaged because all it is is one layer of paint, uh, paper. One and, little layer of paper. Well, you're, these are more sturdy than I make them sound. I really don't know how sturdy they are, but we're finding out. This is, our, this is like a practice, yeah. you guys. Like a practice. It's not a practice. It's the real deal. But it's, you know, uh, we don't know how it's going to turn out. I know that if mine turns out, it's going to be adorable. It's and she's splashing me while she says it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. Nicole is giving me a day reprieve. We've been trying to get this together for a long time. Yes. And there's his other hand. Work on it too long and you'll ruin it. But I'm trying to get that on. That paper is actually a little bit too small. So, and I'm going to do a little bit in here, so I'm going to put him on the track. Soak, soak it. You just put it in there and let it get some goo on it. So. Almost got my elephants done, you guys. Almost. You're going to do the trunk or you're going to wait to yeah, do the trunk? Yeah, I'm going to wait to do the trunk and add it on. Yeah. Eyes. That's a good idea. I would have added the collar later, but I came up with the idea and had to do it out, you know. You have to just go along with the process when you create it and let it Okay, that's not good. Into my coffee. So, Gotta cup it because it's like cupping the rabbit's chin so that it will stick down and I can work with it without it coming apart. Okay, there. Now the rest of this stuff, if it doesn't stay very well, it'll dry. So I'm gonna be clipping off little uh, pieces that I don't want on there after it dries, so I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to secure everything. And, oh, his tail. I almost missed his tail. Okay. I'm going to get him. Dude, this is sticky. This is going to work. 
washing me. I'm starving. I might have already splashed her a couple times too. You gotta get but the I promise yeah, we're not drinking or anything. We're just having fun. But <laughs> only because she thought you needed to know. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, we sound a little funny. We do sound but, funny. Uh, we're different we're, today. Yeah, we're wanting that. We want to be entertaining. And I hope it's entertaining. We were watching uh, Tina Turner. I don't remember if you know her. Or I don't know old enough to know her, but I, I, I'm old enough, I don't know her in person. <laughs> oh, and Johnny, man, can't say it, I can't express it, how much it is, it means to me, man, it really does, I'll tell you later, sometime, paint you a picture or something, and quit giving them back, <laughs> when he says I'm going to paint something you want. Yeah, he likes your painting. Yes, he does. She takes that back, you guys. I take that back. He does like his painting that I did. Uh, well, see, I did several because you know how artists are. You, if it doesn't come out right the first time, you have to have it come out right. It's an ego thing with yourself. It's a, it's a war with yourself. And it has to come out right. So I'm going to put that there and let him dry. And we need to poo is going to be next. So, I don't know how much tape we have, but we're just going to keep rolling. I did not splash myself in the face. <laughs> You're a bit of a mess. Oh, I did it too. I forgot to cut my thing down. Okay. Now, I'm more See? sure See? about... We're both messes. Bear. This is poo bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the wire, too, and I'm going to put, well, no, uh, I'm going to make him a little honey honey jar out of tape. So, I haven't had a chance to do it yet, so I don't want anybody feeding me to it. Yeah, this is so cool. Okay. I am so excited about everything. This might work out, it might not, like you said, but we're hoping Oh, I know it will. It, it'll dry. And then you just, when you can put a little bit of glue and a little bit of patches on it if you want to with the, with the glue, but I'm not, I'm going to try not to do that with mine because you can see it. But I, I think you can see it. I haven't done anything to completion yet, so I'm not completing. Isn't that one pretty? I got some pretty trees out here. There's one right over there. It's a pecan tree. And there's one in my yard that's even bigger. But that pecan tree is so weird. In the winter, but when I first moved in, I could see the squirrels going around in circles. In circles. They were grabbing onto the limbs and it's very tall. Very, very tall. So, Got a piece that you've been working with for a while? Let it go. Let it go. You don't want it. I don't want those little pieces. I'm sure that a lot of this is technique. You know, uh, knowing how long you can spread the, how long you can spread the uh, pieces. Oh. Well, I have still a lot to work to do to mine, but I'm trying. It's gorgeous. It looks good. See, mine's not coming out that good. Well, I'm wrapping mine probably wrong, but who cares? It'll turn out hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to try this one with two strands instead of one. And just go around an easy area, you know, so it'll be a little bit thick. Anyway, so what they come out with, oh, 
This one. You have to see this one. I hope you have enough time. I'm going to put these feathers in her hair. And that's hair. That's I'm going to make it into hair. And she's going to look absolutely beautiful. She's not full length, but she's going to be cropped off at the waist or something. And uh, so I'm going to put a dress on her. And newspaper. These are my... They're called boho on the internet, but I call them what they're supposed to be called, called bohemian. They're bohemian flowers. I mean feathers. I said it. I, we're going to put that on. We'll, you'll see. Bohemian Paul flowers. is getting frustrated. Why? I'm frustrated. Why? My stuff's not working right. It will. It will. Come apart. Come on. Stick to it. We probably, you know, if we put a layer of gesso on it, that might work. I'm not even going to touch that ear. Get myself a touch on the first time. Get away from me, fly. I got a bug zapper for you. Have y'all seen those tennis racket bug zappers? We play badminton quite a bit around here. Usually not flies. It's usually wasp. Alright, I'm gonna let mine dry. Mine's gonna dry because I have work to do on him, and he's messing up. So. <laughs> Hi. That damn thing went in my nose. Oh man. <laughs> there. Dang. That's terrible. She'd be laughing they at me every time. Yeah, they to me. get. They get too close. You got too close. Dang. Okay. All right, my elephant's done. I need to wash my hands somehow. How are we going to open the door? Make we think about that? We can clean the door. We can clean the door on. This one will be good. As long as we don't stick to it. <laughs> I'll probably stick to it. It's not that. It's not that. Uh, a whole bunch of. Uh, it's not that strong. You can just wipe it down. It's not going to get on anything. It won't come off of the man until you close. So, and anyway, there it is. Are you, you want to say anything else? <laughs> nope, I think we're good. Johnny, you know. again, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Y'all are so much fun. I'm having so much fun, fun being your person in Texas. So if you have a show that you want to put on, contact me through Facebook. My name is Meg Scott. And I will get you hooked up. Yes. You can have your own show. It's it's great. No pressure. Relax. Do it. You know, you have to have one ready once a month. But if you want your own show, it's got next time. Call me and we'll talk. Hi, y'all. I'm sorry that wasn't turned up louder. Next time I'll learn my lesson. Uh, I wanted to say uh, thank you very much. And we also put flour uh, in with the mix in the water. It also is a glue. And uh, it needs a lot of flour in it. So, And uh, let's see. Oh, I need to show you the end result. See there? See how? Oh. My goodness, he's going through. Chromakey. Yes. Chromakey. Okay. See that? Isn't he cute? He's just adorable. And here's, here she is. I put her together today. So, let me see what, did I say that was her good side? <laughs> or that was her good side? Oh, that's her good side. Chromakey flame habit. Yeah, I'm not finished with her. She did have her hair a little lower. But she's very cute. And you can do these up decoratively. You can use them in um, uh, wreaths, you know, Christmas wreaths, and um, all kinds of things. And I, I, I want to, again, tell you how much fun it is. Please get in touch with me or American Hearts Radio if you have a hobby, and if you have a camera, and if you have a computer. Yes, it is can. so much fun. This is, we, oh, I also gave a painting to Jarrett, the Marine. That I met at our at Gulf Coast Center. Oh, 
Coast Nissan. Nissan, the Gulf Coast Nissan. J buy, buy a car from Jarrett. Uh, he's a, a Marine, so uh, he's. I actually gave him two two paintings. So anyway, um, again, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Bruce. And is there anything else, dear? Let me get my list. He hates it when I do this. Oh, Camp Hope. Uh, Camp Hope is for PS, uh, post traumatic stress disorder, and we donated some paintings for that. So look up Camp Hope under uh, in Facebook. It's in Texas, it's in Houston. Bye. Hi, this is Meg Scott with Meg Scott Art Gallery Show and American Hearts Radio, and I wanted to present Jared with this painting that I did. Uh, it says, The Few, The Proud, The Marines. Jared is a uh, Marine. He's a Marine. Uh, he's also a dealer here at Gulf Coast Auto where we bought our car. Yeah. And uh, so he's he's right in there. So, man, you know, we want to thank him for our good service. You're welcome. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy it. It's not like, like the other ones that I, I tried and it wouldn't go, so I, I did some things to it. No, I, I love it. I've already yeah. got a place to put it. Oh, great. Okay, well, thank you, Jared. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.